Hello everybody! Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. My name is Shanita. If you've never been here before, I appreciate you stopping by. This is my wash day. I know you were a little shocked to click on and this is the first thing you see, but this is how I do my wash days when I record. I just kind of come on already with a uh, freshly shampooed and conditioned hair. So I am going to start this video at my uh, deep conditioning process and um, show you my styling. So I'm gonna be using a company today called Naturalist Divine. Um, I showed this, I hope that video is up by now. I did a haul of the couple of items that they sent me to use. This was one that I found on Instagram and I went to her begging to try these products. And so she sent them to me and so I am going to use them today. I have the uh, castor oil growth butter. That is the first thing. I watched her make it on Instagram and I just, it's one of those that just make you drop your mouth open. It looks so, so luscious. And this is the deep treatment bars. So her deep treatment comes in these bars. I'm going to open them today because it is time to use them. I used a conditioner bar before on this channel from a company called... Of course, I can't even remember. I'll put it here once I look it up and find it out. And I'll also link the um, video in the description box so that you can see it. But you apply that deep conditioner straight from the bar. This particular one, look what it looks like. So there's two in here. And this is an Ayurvedic hair care brand. You take the bar and you submerge it in hot water and let it melt. And then you put it in your hair like that. And so I'm going to do that. That is interesting. Some of the ingredients are Brahmi, Shadavari, cocoa butter, avocado oil, BTMS 50, beeswax, and peppermint oil. And it says to put it in a clean bowl, add hot water to melt the bars down into a smooth consistency and mix well. And then add it to freshly washed hair, starting from the roots all the way to the ends. Leave on for 30 to 40 minutes with a shower cap on and to rinse out and follow up with a light conditioner. Um, so because it has these Ayurvedic ingredients in here. I don't know if it's supposed to be more strengthened or more moisturized. It says strengthens and nourishes. So I think it's going to be like a nice balance. I'm going to use my own discretion to see what it feels like after I rinse it out to determine if I'm going to use a conditioner after this. So it doesn't say how much water to use. So I may try to contact her to ask her. And if I don't get her in the next few minutes, then I'll just take a guess and just see how much it takes to melt it down. Um, we'll see, but there's two, and I am positive that one of these will work. They look like they're about four ounces each, and that's exciting. So that's what I have from her. I have the deep treatment bars and the um, growth, the castor oil, what's it called? Castor oil growth butter. I'm gonna use that from her. I will use a deep conditioner in another video and I'll record that separately for you so that you can see the entire wash day. And of course I'll have to use another leave-in. So I am excited. And if you are curious to see what the products from Naturalist Divine are like, then stay tuned. So it's been about 20 minutes and I'm gonna stir this to see what I've got. I hope I didn't put too much water. It's interesting, I will say that. When I saw her mix hers up, it looked just like a pudding. But I see how you could use too much also. It might be a good idea to put how much water needs to be added on the label for those of us first timers. Ooh, mixes well. Look at that. A lot of herbs in it, you can tell that. Look at the color. 
Y'all, I'm holding this camera. I'm all over the place trying to do two or three things. It's coming off of the paper. <laughs> okay, that is it. I just wanted to show you how it mixed. Um, if I had to guess, I'm going to say I used six ounces of water maybe six to eight ounces I'll ask her and then I'll see if I can find out to see how much water would be accurate to see if she has a measurement for you but there it goes so I'm gonna go apply it have to keep the hair wet so I always put a bag on before I put my towel on and it'll hold that moisture inside. You wanna know why I did this. Oh, my hair feels so good. I used my um, whipped shampoo from Product Junkie Naturals that was in my first VIP box. I dropped it twice, twice. You think I learned from the first time, but no. I did it a second time. So I probably should put on gloves. Definitely should use a towel. Okay, so yeah, this reminds me of clay and you know how messy it can be. It's like the stuff that we do to try to do something good for ourselves always end up being the messiest stuff, doesn't it? So I am going to, you guys, I don't want my hair to dry out. I'm going to keep this on the sections that I'm still, that I'm not working with and see how fast I can do this. So here, where's my spoon? got it out of there with a fork, mashed it all up, but now I need to switch to this Boy, this is a whole thing. Okay. So here is what it looks like. And I guess if I wanted it more watery, a thinner, <laughs> I could add more water. But we'll see how this does. It might be enough on its own. It smells nice and earthy. It doesn't have any strong scents whatsoever. What it is, though, is gooey. <laughs> and it is nice and warm. That is the other part about doing that um, warm, hot water in it. So now this is a perfect, warm consistency. And that is awesome because that will help with the heating process that helps to open up your pores so that the product can get in and do its due. Do its due. So I've got to make this stretch. I can't be heavy handed. Maybe if I have some left over, I will go back and add it, but for sure, um, I don't want to leave any for another time. I'll definitely use all of this this time. So it is giving, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off so you can see. It is giving my hair a, um, yeah, clay feeling. It is very smooth going on and it is really defining my hair very well. Look at this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to work fast, you guys. So that is what I'm gonna do to all these sections. And just like I do with my other conditioners, I'm gonna pin this in a loose Bantu knot out of the way and finish the other sections. And I am going to put my plastic bag on in the end, and I'll probably only let this sit for 15, 20 minutes, just so I can gauge how it feels first, because I, it's new and I'm just not sure what's gonna happen here. So I will update you in the next clip. Okay, all of this um, deep treatment bar is in. I can already tell you, I will definitely be deep conditioning after this. This does have a strengthening uh, property to it that I can feel already. So I will not be sitting under heat with this. I will just let it sit on for about 15, 20 minutes or so. 
Um, I would suggest using this at a point when your hair needs a good dose of protein because I already, I can just feel it. I am was able to detangle some, like I got a lot of detangled, a lot of tangled hair out, but um, it just doesn't feel soft and smooth to the touch. So considering what it is, that is fine because it is not meant to do that. It really is like in lieu of a protein treatment. If you're getting a lot of breakage, if your hair needs uh, strengthening because it is mushy, if you have color, just situations where you would need a little bit of extra protein, this is what this is. So I have put it up and pinned it up into my little Bantu knots. I am going to just put my plastic cap on. I am not going to even um, put on my hot head. This is only to keep it moist so that it's easier to rinse out, but I don't want it to sit in very long because I'm just not in need of a protein deep conditioner right now or, to, or you know, have my hair strengthened. It is actually doing pretty good. So I will be back after I rinse it out and then we'll continue styling. So you guys, this is why I section my hair, okay? I have just washed and uh, conditioned my hair and I'm about to apply the deep treatment. And this is what it's looking like. Just bare out the gate. Don't ask me why I decided to do that this time. Um, well, the reason mainly was because I was too lazy to get back in the shower this time. And so I just stuck my head over in the sink. And so I had to let all of my hair loose so that I could make sure that I got it all out. And I just... I don't know. I don't know why I chose to do that. But this is this is where I am with no product and having not sectioned my hair. So this is why I take the time to section it. It's so much easier to work with. So I am at the point where I am getting ready to deep condition my hair. And I have a some deep conditioners I want to try and I'm going to do both of them. I'm not going to combine them. I'm going to do one on one side and one on the other. This is by no means meant to be a this versus that video because I don't like putting brands up against each other, especially when I like both of them. So this is just for me to test the effectiveness for both because I've never used both. And so that is all this is, is gives me a chance to try two at one time. It is getting close to Black Friday and we need to find out about some of these brands and uh, products that are still in this stash. So I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna section my hair off and we're gonna find two deep conditioners to review. So I am about to resume styling with my castor oil growth butter. And as I said, this um, did not come with a leave-in. So I went to pull one off of my shelf. I know that this is gonna be moisturizing. Like it is so nice and thick. And castor oil and shea butter are just uber duper moisturizing anyway. I think I could probably get away with almost any leave-in, but this is, I have a couple I just really need to go ahead and use up. And this is one, the uh, leave-in conditioner by Adwa. Um, I reviewed this and I will put the entire video down in the description box for anybody who wants to see the entire line that I reviewed. But I'm gonna use this for my leave-in and then I'm going to top it off with styling with this butter and just because I have turned into such an oil fiend, like such an oil fiend, I am going to add just a couple of drops of oil on top and I don't know which one yet, but I, I will remember to do that and I'll come back and let you know which one. And because I did not put in oil in my scalp when I deep conditioned is when I usually try to do it either while I'm pre cooling or while I'm deep conditioning and I didn't do it in either. So I'm going to do it uh, at this stage while my hair is still wet. If you put the oil into your hair while you're, well, in your scalp, while your scalp is still damp, it gives you a little bit longer moisture retention with your scalp. Mine gets terribly dry this time of year after about two or three days. And so it's just like sealing in oil in your hair. If you seal in some, uh, put the oil on top of your damp scalp, then it just kind of goes in there and it just moisturizes it a little bit longer. So I don't know which of those I'm gonna do, but I just want to let you know that. I'm gonna split this hair down the middle and go off and get started. I'll be right back.
Okay, so I'm all done. And this is what these are looking like. Freshly twisted, still extremely wet. There were some places where it started drying up front and I had to spray it a little bit before using the um, castor cream. And of course then, because my hair is low porosity, the water is like sitting on top of the hair. So then to try to really get this uh, butter to melt down to get it onto my hair strands was a little bit of a task. In hindsight, I probably would have started um, in the front. But nevertheless, um, it's all done and I did add a couple of drops of oil to the top I must have I didn't bring it down here so I did I put a couple drops of oil to the top I don't feel like I need it but just now out of habit more than anything else there is castor oil and some really good oils inside the butter so I will be back and we will see what these looks like in a couple of days I'm excited I'm looking for big things they're nice and soft and of course really shiny Hey you guys, so I am back to give you my final thoughts about the Naturalist Divine products. But I wanted to come on after I took these twists out to show you what I have done here. So once I take my twists out in the morning of the day that I know that I'm gonna be taking my hair down, what I will do is take it and put it all up in this ponytail, kind of with the, this is just a scrunchie. But this helps stretch the hair. It is just my little stretching technique. I showed one earlier on the channel a while back where I did something else. I'm always finding new things. So if you see something different from before, usually the latest one is something I found that works and that's what I'm doing currently. So I just kind of put all of that up into the uh, ponytail and it keeps this hair from just laying flat when I take it down and it also stretches it at the roots a little bit. So for those of you who are just swearing my hair is growing so long, it's really not growing all that long. It's just that um, some of the elongation is showing because I'm doing more stretching than I used to. So that's that. But I'm gonna go off and take these down. But I wanted to show you this. It is two days later. And needless to say, my hair has been through a lot while it was twisted, but it still came out well. Look at me finding twists. I still got a lot of definition in it. It still feels amazing. There is shine to it. That shea butter and castor oil mix my hair just loves you can see some of the shine in it okay so for these last few i'm going to show you what i do ideally you want your um twist to end up nice and defined and silky and as less frizz as possible you can see these it should be elastic which means it you can pull it out and it'll pop back into curls if they you know stay stretched out when you pull it out then you have elasticity problem but here is what these last few are like at least the last few i'm looking at you know i'm going to find some that are buried in there that are undone so i generally unravel and then i do this on top start from the roots and gently pull my hand down and find a place where my hair wants to separate. Um, when I pull it apart like this and I see hair all in here, I know that it is very unlikely that I'm going to get a ton of definition just by pulling apart. Some products I can pull apart and they immediately stay in that defined position. When I have products that make it um, like this, for instance, see how these two pieces pulled apart and there's barely any hair in there? Well, that's one I can just pull out and let go. But if I pull it apart, oh, another one. And there is frizz in between. I generally pull down and then just try to force the hair to curl by wrapping it around my finger. And this is not necessary if you don't care so much about frizz. Um, we do have to embrace frizz. Our hair is just naturally frizzy. But I only do it because I will get more wear out of my hair and it will stay twisted longer if I don't get a lot of frizz on the first day. So if you can pull it apart and it stays apart, then that is ideal. But if not, just force it by pulling apart and wrapping it around your fingers. And you can let these stay big if you want, 
or you can separate them smaller. Separate them into more pieces. That'll make your curls a little bit, um, well, it'll make your hair more fuller. So you get more volume when you pick your hair out. So this side, I actually picked out a little bit and I haven't done this one yet. I'm gonna show you how I do that. See, I'm finding ones in here that I didn't unravel. Some people Gently pulling it apart. For those of you that are new, my hair here in the front has a different texture. This is just loose hair very very rarely can I get it to curl so it hangs longer because it just doesn't curl so that is why that looks that way but I'm gonna stop now I know there's other areas I could play in but I just wanted to show you that for those of you who are curious about how I generally get the hair to stay or get it to be defined. I'm sorry, I'm trying to pick in my hair and talk at the same time. Okay, so here is the final look. This is what I would probably go out looking like. This is this would be it. So you can see on this side, my hair is so soft, you guys. So, so soft. It feels so silky. I love, love how castor oil gives your hair that silky feel. I got a little bit more frizz on this side and I'm not gonna worry about that so much because I can still see some of the definition in it. The back always stay. I just never fluff out the back. To me, it's just pointless because I don't want that to hang long and I definitely don't want that part frizzy because if I put on a sweater or a coat or something, it's gonna rub up against it and it just gets worse. So I leave it separate it maybe once or twice and then leave it but so this side it looks good this side looks this way and you can have hair that defines really good and then still have sections that are frizzy no matter what you do most of the times that is just um, different textures of hair they just come out different and you just have to make peace with it and be okay and I am but generally, you will have a head that has curled, defined pieces in it where you can obviously see the curls, and then you'll have some places that just look a little bit more frizzy than others. You're not gonna get perfect hair. Um, every piece is just not gonna be defined. It's just not. So make peace with that. That is okay, and that's good because it gives it more of a natural look anyway. Um, a lot of the products I've been using lately generally have like an aloe gel in it or a flaxseed gel. That would give the hair some holding power. And I'm saying that right now because my hair is so super soft. It is so moisturized and so, so soft. I would absolutely have to retwist this at night, which I'm completely okay with. It came out very well, but how soft it is, is just unbelievable. I can feel it and know that it, I'm not gonna get a whole lot of hold. So if you're going for like a fluffy, light, blowing in the wind hairstyle, then this is a product to use. But I just wanted to show so, you that. This is what it ends up looking like. I like it a lot. I cannot even explain how soft my hair feels. I'm trying to just kind of get outside of myself and feel it and see what I can compare it feeling like and I can't I can't come up with anything just super duper soft so the bar treatment bar that I don't have with me you saw that and you saw how I use that that really really does strengthen your hair I received the one that is more strengthening there is one in the website that is more moisturizing so you can use whichever one you prefer in the winter time I would prefer more moisturizing ones but for a strengthener that did what it was supposed to do it really got my hair um, nice and strengthened I only used it for about 15 minutes because I knew going in that I didn't need a lot of strengthening properties to my hair and so 
I mean, I liked it. I like playing in it. I like mixing it up and having to glob it on. It kind of went on like a clay. It really defined my hair, but rinsing it out, it definitely had that strengthening feel to it. My hair definitely felt strong and I was able to detangle with it. And so I like that a lot, but I would definitely, definitely reserve that for days when you need strengthening because it really does really strengthens your hair so I absolutely had to use a moisturizing deep conditioner after that and I will show you that one in another video but then I used the leave-in conditioner from actually I used two I used the um, moisture love leave-in conditioning serum on one side and I tried to go with more lightweight leave-in conditioners because the butter is so nice and firm and moisturizing. I just didn't feel like I needed a heavy one. So I used this one on one side and I grabbed the uh, Annabelle's leave-in conditioner. Look how beat up it is. <laughs> the one from the Extreme Hydration line on the other side. They both have sort of the same consistency. Very lightweight but very moisturizing. So these are the two that I used. And then I let that set for about 20 minutes or so and then I went back in and used the growth butter. Love this stuff. It is nice and firm so you really want to be working with hair that uh, is wet and you want to be working with hair that is definitely moisturized. Um, I don't know that I would use this by itself. I would definitely use a leave-in conditioner. But as I showed you before, it's so nice and thick. This is about how much I used. And I took it out. You can see the little fingerprints in it because I didn't even use my whole finger. Like I just kind of used the tip of my nail just to get some out and rubbed it into my hands and put it on and twist it. Because it's so smooth and it just glides through your hair so well, it almost helped to tangle my hair. So I had no pieces that were uh, tangling together and having a um, problem coming apart. It detangled very well. The moisture you can feel immediately, immediately. And the twists were just nice and shiny. They were so frizz free. They felt soft and great. And if you, like I say, if you're looking for more of a softer, moisturizing look then this is what you would go for it would definitely coat your hair for a nice moisturizing soft effect over the winter time what I will say is that you're not gonna get a lot of hold from this I know that I you know what I'm gonna test it out I'm gonna I'm gonna not twist it tonight and then see what it is like uh, in the morning yeah because just from the feeling, it's just so soft. If I went to bed on it like this, I know I would mash it. But now with my curl case, I can pull my hair up and then I'll see what kind of results I end up getting. But the shine in this is off the charts. Shea butter gives your hair shine. Castor oil gives your hair shine. Avocado oil gives your hair shine. Almost everything in this just gives your hair just a natural shine anyway. And so, it gave excellent definition. It gave excellent softness, excellent shine. The only thing if you're leery about is you're not gonna get a lot of hold. And what I would say, you can always add a gel on top. You can add like um, like any gel. I think you can add any gel on top because it's so natural that it's not gonna clash with anything. I don't think you're gonna get any free flakes or anything from any gel. So add a gel on top for a little hole and magnificent magnificent I think it looks great and um yeah I don't I don't know what else to tell no, you this fact, all of these are good for the scalp you could absolutely use this on your scalp alone if you're somebody who gets a lot of dry scalp in the winter this is kind of a one and done for styling you can use it on your hair and you can use it on your scalp as well even just feeling the jar like my hands are just gliding around because it is so so silky soft and that is the way my hair feels so do I recommend these absolutely absolutely I suggest you really really go try this is a four ounce container this will last forever this is a lot, it's four ounces, but it's a lot of product because you only need a little bit. My hair is coarse. I generally go overboard with products anyway, but I could feel instantly that I did not have to do that with this. Like I, I literally am now right here, right at the top. So I've got tons more to use. So that's it, you guys. 
If you have any further questions for me, either drop them down below and I will be glad to answer them. But go over and follow Naturalist Divine on Instagram. I will put her website down below. You can check out these items. You can check out her other items. She has different kind of deep treatment bars, so you don't have to get the one that I got. There are others on there. There's this butter. There is another butter at least one more butter but there's several products on there and it came super duper fast you guys click the thumbs up button to like this video and be sure to subscribe on your way out we are almost at our 1,000 subscriber mark so that we could do a giveaway I already have my giveaway video done I did a video where I show you all the items that I'm going to be giving away and I'm going to be posting that at about 950 subscribers not only have I done the video but I have already sealed up the box the only thing it is waiting for is your name and address on it so be sure to share the um, videos and as soon as we could get up to 1,000 we're gonna do that giveaway and somebody is gonna be getting a lot of nice stuff for Christmas so I will see you in the next video let me know if you have any questions and I will see you then bye